The majority of fish capture their prey by rapidly sucking water into the mouth, which then pulls the prey in along with it. And this is what's known as inertial feeding. Notice how this gourami uses its stealth to capture the elusive flake food. Gouramis are built for feeding at the surface, which is right where these lively flakes like to congregate. As you watch this fish feed on these flakes, notice how the flakes are pulled towards the fish as it continues to feed. And this effect can extend out nearly two feet from the fish, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But for now, just notice how the flakes move on the surface of the water in response to the suction created by the feeding fish. And I'm sure this effect isn't limited to the pearl gourami, but it's just where I really noticed it for the first time. Now, let's see how this looks from below the surface so that you can get a better idea just how effective this feeding technique can be. This is a 20-gallon long tank, and there's flake food all along the surface from here all the way over to here. Now, in a moment, a pearl gourami is going to start feeding right here but it will also pull in these flakes that are floating way over here, almost two feet away. Now keep your eye on the flakes as they're magically pulled across the tank and towards the fish. All along the surface, the flakes are slowly drifting towards the gourami while the gourami is able to stay in one spot, just siphoning food from the surface of the water. Now I have to wonder, do they feed like this in the wild? Because it seems like this would be a great way to remain hidden and bring the food to you. They might be able to pull in small items that are on the surface of the water, such as fish eggs, small aquatic worms, daphnia and mosquito larvae, as well as small insects that may have fallen into the water. Well, that's just the thought I had. Thanks for watching, and I really hope that you have a beautiful day.